Hi, this video will cover importing layers from GeoServer into GeoNode. Okay, so we have two layers here in GeoServer that are not present in our GeoNode instance. The first layer is Neighborhoods. That was a layer created in Workspace GeoNode from a post just store directly in GeoServer. And the second is Layer Parks. That was created in Workspace Demo, um, also from a PostGIS data store. And what we're going to do is we're going to import these two layers into our GeoNode instance. And to do that, we're going to use GeoNode's update layers function. Okay, so let's get started by importing the parks layer from our demo workspace. Okay, so connected via SSH, let's start by going into our GeoNode build directory. Okay, and now let's activate the virtual environment. Okay, and the command we'll be using to import the layers is the update layers command. Uh, you'll see a link below to the GeoNode documentation for this. Uh, in my case, I'm using a local settings pi file, so I'm going to be using GeoNode local settings. If you are not using a local settings pi file, it would just be GeoNode settings. And then the command python manage pi update layers. And here I'm also adding uh, w to specify a workspace. And specifying the workspace means that all layers will be imported from that workspace. And if you recall, in the workspace demo, I have only this one layer parks. Okay, so you go ahead now and run the command. Okay, we see one created layers, zero updated, zero failed. And let's take a look now in GeoNode and make sure that we can see the layer there. Okay, so back at GeoNode, let's go ahead and refresh and we should see our parks layer imported from the demo workspace. Okay, and we see the parks layer has been successfully imported into GeoNode. Okay, so now let's run the update layers command again. Uh, but this time let's specify both the workspace and the store. The command itself is the same. Okay, so we're going to be importing layers from Workspace GeoNode and also specifying from Store Demo Source. And if we take a look back in our GeoServer layers here, um, we see that the neighborhoods layer that we're going to import is in the GeoNode workspace along with the uh, shapefile that we uploaded directly into GeoNode. Uh, this time, though, we're going to not only specify the workspace GeoNode, just as we specified workspace demo earlier, we're also going to specify the store along with it. And if we didn't limit it to the store, it would import all the layers from workspace GeoNode, which means it would re-import and update this layer and any other layers we happen to have in there, some of which you might not want in GeoNode. And import that. Okay, and one created layers, zero updated, zero failed. And again, let's take a look at GeoNode to make sure it was imported. Okay, so back again to our GeoNode instance. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and see if our layer appears. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so we first imported the parks layer using specifying only the workspace. And then we imported the neighborhoods layer specifying both the workspace and the store. Okay, so just to summarize, we began by identifying which layers in GeoServer we wanted to import to GeoNode. We then activated our virtual environment, and then we used the GeoNode update layers command to import the layers that we wanted from GeoServer.